Good morning and welcome back. Um, today I am um, over kind of my local, local area again. Um, I'm just going to set up the hide um, from the van. Um, and I found a really nice kind of location here. And I'm going to put some, some nuts and some seeds out, which I keep on board of the van. Um, and just see if anything kind of shows up. I can hear the buzzard, in fact I can see the buzzard from here, so hopefully we might get an image or two of him as well. Okay, let's, uh, let's set up. You can see I just keep a few little tubs, some liger seed, some normal seed, and a few nuts. In fact, in fact, you can't see, but there's deer in the field. That's a good start. Before I do anything else, so let me just film that for a second and take some images if I can. Well, they got spooked. Um, it wasn't by me. I um, he runs along the edge of a f uh, the, edge of the field, runs along the edge of the trees there, and I can see from here that there's there's somebody right along the edge walking the dog. But that was nice and unexpected. So, okay, let's um let's go back to what we were doing and setting that up. the deer have come back into the field. They're heading back this way. So I'm just going to stay here and stay quiet and see how close they get. Okay, right when they've headed off into the woods. So I'm going to go back to my original plan, uh, setting up the hide in the van and seeing if, um, if we can get some other wildlife along this log here. Right, well I'm nicely wedged in now, so I'm going to um, turn it all off, I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee um, and give an hour or so, just to, um, sorry I can already see some, a 
a few birdies that are showing interest, so make myself a cuppa and then sit and stay quiet for a while and hopefully we'll get some some movement where I've laid down the nuts and seeds etc. Right, well, it's quite clear to me that all the action is in the field. The, um, there's been pheasants and deer, saw a fox. That was only with the binoculars, so I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna set myself up in the corner of this field wearing this. I've also got the headpiece to go with it. And um, put my other camouflage poncho over the camera. Um, yeah. Then that's what I'm going to do. Changed again to the bean bag because it just wasn't wasn't quite high enough. I think the tripod with the video head is the best option, but with the centre stem that I've got on the tripod, it doesn't quite get low enough. I'm sure I can remedy that somehow. Another little future project, hey. It's been just over an hour and I'm sure the deer have just moved on um, and the pheasant that was hanging around has, uh, has cleared off. That's okay. Nice to just be out. Must have been getting a bit warm in this suit now. It's not that often you get the chance to wear a string suit. <laughs> but for another hour, I think, an hour or two maybe. Maybe half an hour if my legs get any more dead and my neck is starting to ache. But we'll see.
throughout the last hour or so, the wind has been changing direction. So it's literally behind me now. And it's going straight off out into the field. That was the first time I really got to uh, try out my ghillie suit. I, mean, I've, I bought it a good year or two ago, but um, not had the opportunity to to try it out yet. Um, again, it was just a, that was an inexpensive buy from um, through eBay. I think it came from China. It was like under thirty pound. Um, so I thought today was a good opportunity actually. Um, right, I think I'm going to call it a day. There's um, nothing else really going on now I didn't find the buzzard he was around here for ages um, until I got my camera out obviously and he's he's always around here anyway in fact there's a buzzard and a red kite that often share the same kind of airspace which is nice well I think that's me done now I'm gonna go home and have some lunch um, if you've liked the video then that'd be great if you could give it a thumbs up would appreciate it greatly if you don't subscribe when you'd like to then please do and if you'd like to know when my next video comes out then tap the notifications button and that will let you know so going forward i'm going to try and hopefully get one video a week done um, that's fingers crossed um, i did also speak to the the farmer's wife came out um, and i think i shocked her a little bit but wearing the ghillie suit but she said it's it's uh bane of her husband's life but they are beautiful uh, and she suggested that where i was today was a good spot and they're often there in the morning so i'm going to come back for sure early hours um, and i think this could be a really good spot during the rutting season as well so we are what middle of august now so another couple of months i think this could be a a proper winner winner okay Right, okay, thanks for watching, until next time, bye for now.